What up guys? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about this rig right here. This is a pretty cool rig. It has, again, 50 gallon water, 50 gallon soap. I'm gonna just kind of walk, do a walk around of this rig here, of amazing rig. I'm gonna tell you where I've gotten all my equipment. I'm gonna show you everything. And at the end of this video, I'll put a link to a, the playlist that where if you wanna do each individual thing, it'll break it down to each individual thing. So. First off, um, we'll start off with the big stuff. And remember when we're building rigs, a lot of times, you know, we look at this stuff and we can go price it all out and we'll be like, well, Jason, that don't cost that much. But in the end, it really does. Because a lot of times we forget about shipping. We forget a little about the bag of 200, $300 worth of fittings. We forget about different things. But in this one, I'll, I'm gonna break down this skid unit for the back of a pickup. It will fit in the short bed. So that is pretty cool. You can see my truck right here. It will fit in the back of that short bed right there. And so that is pretty cool. We'll get started here. The frame of it, the aluminum, all the aluminum pieces of the frame of this here is all from powerwash.com. Um, powerwash.com you got the, i got the extra thing i don't know if the person's going to want that on there or not and i also didn't want to put it on there because it's going to make it heavier and so i want to make sure so the very first thing is all the aluminum that kind of stuff you can go check out powerwash.com most everything i bought was either from powerwash.com or from Russ Johnson. So both of them, um, I did purchase equipment from both. And then I, of course, I purchased stuff from Amazon too because it's a lot easier. Um, so that's how I do it. So um, first off, we started with an eight gallon a minute machine. It is gear driven. I don't know if you'll be able to see the gear driven back here with an eight gallon machine. It is a with the Honda 690. So it's got the bigger motor on it. It's got the seven gallon or six gallon gas tank on it so that's an awesome machine great price on that um, again on the aluminum that was another thing that you can definitely do we did go with the Hene reels um, we got two Hene reels the reason why i went with the Hene reels is because that's what they had in stock um, they don't have a lot of other stuff in stock um, i did go with 150 feet of pressure wash hose um, I, it's, it is all one length. I didn't do it in two sections or three sections. I did do it all in one length. That's got its pros and cons. Um, I usually don't go that route, but that's what I did on this one. I also did the zero G hose on here. It's 150 feet, three quarter inch, two sections of 75 feet of three quarter inch. I did that so that way I make sure I get my friction loss. I don't have friction loss from the house, causing me having issues of having this stuff from there we plumbed in from our garden hose into um, a bulkhead into the side of the tank and that's actually going into a job valve j-o-b-e job valve um, i'll see if i can find the box over here for you so that way you can see what a job valve is um, this is the job valve right here so that's the job valve um, mega flow it's supposed to flow a lot better pressure than the um, Hudson float valve and I have very bad water pressure here and it did pretty well so we plumbed it into there we do have a 50 gallon water tank we have one line here that's going to go back this bigger line here you can see the bigger line it's actually going back here to my to right there to my unloader valve so it's coming out of the unloader valve and going into the tank and it's filling back up there i have uh, this bulkhead here and this bulkhead back here these are for my this is for my soap so i can turn my soap on and off and right here is a just a way to clean out my downstream injector so if it's on the red tape that means it is um, soaping if it's the opposite means it's getting water i did have to add two vents in here because uh, my machine was making these tanks wanting to blow up and i don't want them to blow out so i did put some vents right here you can see the vent is just an open tube so that way it's a vent next thing um, I like I said I did do that because that's coming back over here to my high pressure line and my downstream injector so this is my downstream injector this is how we soap houses this is how we get um, this is how we're able to clean houses with low pressure we don't use high pressure high pressure tears stuff up we use low pressure and that's how we do that is through low pressure before we go on any further if you would like to learn more about pressure washing and stuff like that 
I have a step-by-step -step course of how to do a pressure washing business. You can go check it out at pressurewashhelp.com or King of Pressure Washing. And there I have all the steps. In fact, one of the steps is, is building your own rig. And I teach you step-by-step -step of how to build a rig, reasons why we need to build a rig. And not only that, it is also the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. I give you all 26 steps to make sure that you do a perfect house wash every time and you do every step so that way you hit everything you need to do like marketing, like taking before and afters to cover your tail. And all of that is detailed in there so make sure you go check that out. This here, by turning this here, will make this bypass around this. Um, so it does give us more flow by bypassing. So that's the purpose of the bypass valve is to give us more flow through that. Um, and it is important. Um, we do have, like I say, our 150. We have our Sutner gun here. We have the um, J-Rod here. We have on the J-Rod, I have a 0060. Um, I have an 0560. I have a 2560. And I have a 25 high pressure, um, 2515, which is high pressure nozzle. Um, and them are my, them are my favorite J-Rods. That's how I like my J-Rod. That's the best way. I do not like the high pressure zero zero. Um, you screw stuff up and it cuts your flow down. And that's the whole purpose is, is keeping our flow good. So that way, when we're flowing, it does what we need to do. It's all about rinsing, getting it down fast. That's the whole purpose of that. So again, I did do, oh, I need to clean up. Um, the big inch line, that's a dump valve. It's to dump water out of my tank. And it's also for safety. Um, say if I get stuff in my eyeballs, I can come over here, turn that valve on. It's coming out of the fresh water tank and I can get it to splash it up in my eyes. I can flush it off my skin. Um, if I get chemicals on my skin, it's for safety. So that's the reason why I like having a dump valve, dump valve slash safety valve to make sure that I'm staying safe of being able to do the things I need to do to do that. I can carry two full size ladders on this thing being that it's up there. And so that's pretty much this skid. You know, this skid is pretty awesome. Um, you know, if you're looking at trailers versus skids in the back of the trucks, um, it's definitely can save you a lot of room. You can pull it in and out. Say if you break down, your truck breaks down, you can have somebody with a forklift pull it out, put it in another truck and you're still in business. You're not out of business at that point. You know, if you try to build it out of your truck, the truck breaks down, you're out of business. So this is some pretty cool things that you can do with a skid unit versus, you know, some of the other things, even a trailer unit. You know, if something happens to your trailer and your axle blows or something, you're done. You can't move it. Or, you know, I had a, one of the guys in my membership, he has a, they had an enclosed trailer and it got hit and he was down for two weeks before he was able to get up. So, you know, I don't want you to be down this here. You can put in another truck and we're, right on you can mount this on a trailer at this point and we can keep right on going so again i just wanted to hit on all the things that's pretty cool about this um, unit here it is like i say i did build it i do have individual videos of everything of installing everything installing and and not just me showing hey this is here uh, drilling the holes putting the bolts together putting all the fittings together and the reason why i went that in depth of it is because i've gotten asked several times well you just magically and it's all there so in this one it might be time lapse but it will be showing of the bolt the whole nine yards so you can check this um right here or you'll i'll put a link down in the bottom here of each individual how to do each individual thing so that's something that i will do for you to help you be able to do that some of the links are affiliate links that i will put on there it does buy me a cup of coffee i appreciate it i really do i don't stay fat without eating so i do have some affiliate links on here so it doesn't cost you anything extra it's just something that helps my channel out and helps me be, keep giving videos like this so that way i can help you keep growing your business and being successful so again check these links out here and check out this playlist and i'll see you in my next video